the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time, we're going to be looking into the 23rd episode of Season 5 of The Muppet Show, which features Linda Ronstadt. Now, just in case you don't know, Linda Ronstadt is actually known to be a pretty popular pop singer. In fact, she has actually went on to go and collaborate with many of the biggest singers of their time, including Bette Midler, Philip Glass, uh, Rosemary Clooney, Dolly Parton, Neil Young, Johnny Cash, uh, Nelson Riddle, and so much more. And on top of that, she even won numerous of awards. These include 11 Grammy Awards, uh, 3 American Music Awards, 2 Country Music Awards, and also an Alma Award. And that's just for music. Uh, she even won for some of her acting skills where she actually got an Emmy Award and she even got nominated for a Tony Award and a Golden Globe Award. And also you can find her today in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And on top of that, her albums sail amazingly. Like, they really do fly off the shelves, down to the point where she would have gold albums, platinum albums, and even multi-platinum. That's how big that she is. Now, going into the episode that she appeared in The Muppet Show, what ends up happening is that this is a little bit more of your typical Kermit Miss Piggy romance. Like, they look more into that aspect, because in this episode, Kermit has a crush on Linda Ronstadt. Now, I don't want to say that this is the first time where Kermit uh, expressed that he kind of has a little thing for a special guest star, especially when we're really this late in the game. But in this episode, they really do focus on that, where Kermit has this big crush on Linda Ronstadt, and like he dresses himself up real nice, he even bought flowers and all that stuff. But Miss, Pr Miss Piggy actually got a little bit jealous, so what she ended up doing is just lock Kermit in a trunk. And there are a few times when Linda Ronstadt would ultimately find Kermit inside the trunk. It, it, like, it doesn't happen just once, like, on a couple of occasions, actually. Like, she would suddenly be like, oh, where's Kermit? And then she realizes Kermit is in the trunk. And that's mostly the plot so far. It's... Like I said before, it's mostly looking into the romance of Miss Piggy and Kermit, where Miss Piggy would go to far lengths to make sure that nobody gets Kermit but her. And uh, what is actually a bit of an interesting twist is that Linda Ronstadt also has a bit of a crush on Kermit. Although, admittedly, they didn't necessarily look on it too much. Like, they did sing, uh, oh, what, what was it? Uh, it's in his kiss and that's mostly it and then there was also the part before where uh, She would sing a little verse of I've got a crush on you to Kermit and then ended up giving Kermit a little uh, like a little kiss and that was pretty much it But other than that like the whole crush aspect was not look Like it, it didn't go deep into it. They didn't really explore that much and on top of that uh, the aspect of just Kermit in a trunk, I'll, I'll just say right now that Kermit is mostly in a trunk. And uh, on top of that, there are a couple of occasions where Linda Ronstadt is like, Hey, where's Kermit? I haven't seen him around. Oh, he's in the trunk. Like, they somehow they decided to repeat that, which honestly doesn't make any sense. Considering that, like, once you know that it happened once, you probably expect that Maybe it would happen again. It was like, oh, Kermit's lost. Is he in the trunk again? Like, none of that was ever asked. Somehow she had to rediscover it all over again. And, um, like, admittedly, there are a few good jokes that did come out of it with Kermit in the trunk. And also the fact that uh, the trunk itself, how it ended up being there in the first place was that uh, this is Gonzo's heavy trunk where he keeps his fungus collection. That's how it ultimately got in there. It's the Muppets, they have to put in a weird explanation, so they got a trunk. Uh, but other than that, I mean, they, they, like that's all that they really did. They didn't fully play into it, like more the factor that there is fungus inside the trunk, or that Ker like they, they really explored around Kermit being in the trunk and stuff like that. The only time that they really did explore it in terms of sketches 
would be the Pigs in Space episode where Miss Piggy brought in the trunk just to get get Kermit away from Linda Ronstadt and say that it's a battle robot monster and that's pretty much it. And of course there are a few sketches that do happen in between, like a few extra ones. Probably the best bit I have to say is a combination of the Swedish Chef and Muppet's, uh, Muppet Newsflash. I'm just going to say that the Swedish Chef uh, uses a champagne bottle and I'll just I'll leave the rest to you to go and check out because it really was hilarious. Uh, and then there's also the cat came back, which is kind of a bit of uh, like a playful kids tune about a cat that just won't go away. And there's this little boy that's doing every single thing he can to just get rid of that stupid cat, down to the point of even using cannons and bombs. Uh, but uh, also, oh my God, there's also. A really weird one called I'm so happy and for some reason like the, like the whole joke is that like they would sing a song called I'm so happy but you could see they're in a bit of a depressing mood but the whole aesthetic is like they're in a godforsaken haunted house because all it is is that it's just two guys like dressed up in like a little bit of Victorian era clothes and like everything is surrounded in cobwebs even the piano player and the singer is covered in cobwebs like I expect them to be ghosts like after they're done singing they would suddenly disappear or something like that it's just like I, I don't know if they try to play more into the humor or s probably the creep factor considering it like how like I'm just watching it going like how long do you have to stay there to get all the spiders to be all around you and stuff like that. It just really was weird. Um, was there anything else? Oh yes, uh, the part with Linda Ronstadt. Of course, she is uh, a singer, so she does play many of, uh, well, she does play many songs in here. Uh, she was the opening number, which was uh, really impressive in terms of uh, how they put up all the sets and stuff like that. It was Blue Bayou where the set was ginormous like you got a whole bunch of frogs singing and then like you got a shack where uh some of the members of the electric mayhem are playing and yeah like it's probably really cool to see more for uh the technical achievements that they've done around linda ronstadt than really linda ronstadt herself uh i've already mentioned a few aspects like uh it's in his kiss and uh i've got a crush on you and then you got your typical ending, like the way that everything wraps up with uh, Kermit, Miss Piggy, and Linda Ronstadt, where everybody just goes on stage and sing, When I Grow Too Old to Dream, and that's pretty much it. So I would say that overall, this is more of your typical romance Muppet episode between Miss Piggy and Kermit. Where it does have a bit of a clever idea of Kermit having a huge crush on the special guest star and there might be a thing with them together. But Miss Piggy really does intervene. But I, I don't know. I just don't feel as satisfied with it. Maybe they didn't play as much uh, either with the trunk or the romance angle. It's just like even though, yeah, it, it is a, a 30 minute episode or... 22 minutes if you want to be technical but like even though it's just an episode long they didn't necessarily do a lot with it so yeah it, like it's fine as it is it definitely has a lot of its funny moments but for the most part it's just standard at the most uh but anyways that is pretty much it for this episode so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and we will see now that uh, Kermit's crush decided to move away since she was only there as a special guest. Uh, let us see what other romantic shenanigans that the Muppets will have in store, but we will only know until next time, so see you later, dudes!